So if you're familiar with GenSpark, it's a super agent that can go out and do many, many tasks for you, including sheets and docs and custom slides. And as the custom super agent now, then go off and research loads of information for you. And then, you know, you can transpose that information any way you want. But what I'm interested in this one is the AI developer. So you have Claude code underneath the hood and What's just been released now is mobile development, so we can build native apps with Flutter, so preview effects in real time on the web. So I wanna try that out now. Let's see how we get on. If you wanna try this out, you can find a link in the description down below. So to get our app, all we need to do is describe what we want in our mobile app, and we should get a preview here on the right. So you can just describe your app, or in this case, I wanna make a game. So I think it would be pretty cool to make a mobile game. I remember this game, Paperboy, when I was a kid. I just remember throwing the paper at houses that's all i can remember so let's see if you can find out research for me what this game is and build it for me so you can see it's previewing here the app one of the cool things here they have is firebase so if you want to you know have other people log in and set up accounts and store things it's a database that, uh, owned by google so that would be super cool you can also send it to github if you want to use something else to continue on and the the process of developing this app okay so we are actually actually going to implement the full gameplay and mechanics of delivering newspapers. That's what it was. Avoiding obstacles, breaking windows and scoring points. Let's see if I can actually do it. This will be really amazing if we could create this uh, game for me. I haven't played it since I was a kid, but you can see it's creating all the files now for me. While it does that, two other apps that you can build mobile apps with is this one, Anything. So we'll try it out on these as well. And Rourke, you can find links to all of these in the description okay so this is what the game looks like this uh image here okay so my games are ready on GenSpark. yeah it doesn't look that good to be fair this is quite difficult to make but i can't throw my paper <laughs> which is cool but yeah i mean it does the game works but it's probably a bit too complex for what it is now let's try the other ones so here we have this one looks quite nice uh it seems like i need to drag my finger and stuff so i don't think i'm gonna be able to play this um yeah okay okay let's check out work here as well we go left and right <laughs> okay <laughs> no this is not oh okay can kind of throw them okay it could just be me i don't know how to play this is definitely the best one so far though okay i got 500 all right so we'll give this one another try uh, this is create anything again links are down below uh this is the one that won to be honest for me it was rourke it Play, made a pretty cool game and I had a good few goes. This here is called Expo Go. So what you do at this point then is you connect, you download Expo Go onto your uh, phone and then you can test it out. So what you do is just uh, scan that QR code that you can see there next to my face. And then when uh, you have it connected to your uh, mobile app of Expo Go, I'll leave a link to that down below as well so you can see download that and then you can test it out and build on your phone. So one of the cool things about Rourke is that you can also publish to Google Play Store. So it gives you all the prerequisites. So it's a good thing to go through all of this. It's not that easy. You have to figure out a lot of things uh, to get your app correct for that they get accepted. So that's something to think in mind. But if you just want to use an app for yourself, that's what I'm doing. Uh, just making apps for myself so I can just use them when I'm out walking and I want something uh, to, to do to help me, like something like an affirmation app or something could be cool then this is good this won't create anything also as submit to app store so go through all the things that you need to do to make sure that it's ready for the app store so similar apps and uh, both are pretty good definitely worth trying them out to see each, if each one is good for you GenSpark seems to be a bit more if you need information about different things or if you need to integrate different uh, agents like if you need to integrate different elements like designers you, you want it, that little bit more custom customizability now this is just launched today so of course it's not going to be perfect uh, so far but Something you can do is to try it out um, down below and see if you like it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and let's see how my affirmation app is going. Okay, so we got our quotes here and our Alex Hermosi. I don't think he said these things. So you'd have to add a database or something. You could easily add that. Uh, a lot of quotes so that you say actually put the correct quotes here if you want and uh, get new quote right and then you can see all the different ones that you've favorited and stuff like that so it is a proper little mobile app of course it needs a lot more work you know you need to keep working on these it's not going to be one prompt and you get your app that's not really reality right now but i'm hoping over the next few months that will be the case if you like this video thanks for watching subscribe to the channel